How, how does a, when the job comes out, Gary Waters did such a great job when he was here, but then the, the job opens up and not, not too far before school starts. So how does that, how does that all work? Well, it's, it's, it works this way. You don't look at um, when, you look at the opportunity. And okay. growing up, I knew that opportunities come in different shape, sizes, forms, and you can't judge a book by its cover because the fit was the most important. Right. And it was a great fit for me. It was a great fit for, um, at, for, for my family at this time to, to make that move. And Cleveland State checked all the boxes, especially from that leadership standpoint. Great institution, great conference, uh, but also a great tradition that you could also sell to a student athlete. Speaking of great conference and all, you've got four home games coming up, but you're on the road for a couple of games, yep. and then you're coming back home to the Wall Street yep. Center. Uh, on the 23rd of January, yep. you've got uh, Green Bay. Yes. Uh, Tony Bennett. The old Green Bay guy. Hey, yeah. He could yeah. play and he yes, can coach. Yes, indeed. Very good coach. <laughs> yeah. Then you got Milwaukee on the 25th. The 30th, it's uh, IUPUI. And then uh, you come back on February 1st against UIC where, yes. where you say you saw some games. High school. My high school is right across the street from UIC Pavilion. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely a, a, a home trip for me when we went back. Obviously, we didn't get the results that we wanted, right. but that was a good game. But I'm looking forward to this last uh, these this four games. Uh, coming up because it's a home stand that I think will allow us to make a move in this conference standings and it's very important. The other thing before you actually see these guys and play these teams you you don't have a feel for them you you know who they are and yeah. all that stuff now you you can put names to faces and uh, a skill level to skill level and maybe the second third time around it's a different story. Yeah I mean you have to before you well one thing that me and the staff did was uh, we broke down each team in this conference and you don't know a team until you really break down their tendencies and you build a scouting report. So we were able to put ourselves in that situation. We know some of those staffs just through recruiting and building right. relationships, being in the gym, but you don't really know what they do. And we broke it down. Uh, I, so I signed the entire conference in thirds to each assistant, and they do a great job of scouting. They did a great job of finding out the pluses and minuses, and that's what allowed us during the preseason to start implementing a, a system that would be beneficial to what we had to face because there's one thing about it we're not a one we're not we're not a uh, multi-bid league mm -hmm. at this point although I believe that we can get there but we have to win the conference tournament to to have that one right. shiny moment so to speak I've, go ahead well, this year's team how yeah. proud are you of what you know what you have done early in the year given you didn't get you know, it, there wasn't a lot to get you know your feet on the ground and get rolling in the off season. Your off season was compressed, is what right. I'm getting at. So, how proud are you of just the way that this team has responded? Well, I'm I'm very proud of the way uh, me and the staff were able to get on the same page with the retreat. It really helped organize what we need to do. Uh, but also, you have to make adjustments sometimes, right? And you know, I'm very proud of our student athletes that we've been able to identify the young men we were able to identify through the relationships that we had. Uh, in our profession. Uh, you had Craig Baudouin, who was unsigned. You had Trey Gomillion, who was a freshman in junior college, ready to start his sophomore year, but he was a qualifier. You had Franklin Penn Jr. the same exact way as a junior college transfer in Tyrese Potoma. You had certain kids out there. You just had to make sure they had the right character to endure what you were asking them to do. Well, one of the problems forever for mid-majors is scheduling. Mm -hmm. You you need you need wins, which means you got to play yeah. at home. But the big boys aren't going to come here <laughs> for a while, right? So They're you got to go there and maybe have your lunch handed to you. But that that's not necessarily a bad thing. No, it, it prepares you because what I have sold our team on is you know we had a tough schedule. We played a lot of preseason number one teams in their rifle conferences. We played high majors like Minnesota, which was a tough game. We played South Carolina at South Carolina. But it's one of those things that if we we're fortunate enough to win our conference tournament, those are the teams we're going to face. Sure. So it, it gives you the edge of, okay, do you get prepared for what you're really trying to do? And I've, I come from the school where you have to be prepared 
for the big picture. And our goal is to get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, now, how we get there is, is, is up to us. Yeah, and those are the games those kids will remember long after yes. they graduate. Yes, 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 indeed. What about teams' style? What, you know, what do you want to, when, when somebody plays for, for you, yeah. what do you want them to take away and say? What, if, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm one of your players, what do you want me to remember <laughs> from my time playing for you? Well, our, our players know right now with the time that we've had with them. They know that we are, I am a player's coach. Um, I'm very disciplined, but I'm also a guy that allows guys to play and have fun. And, you know, I'm not the one to yell about, you know, the shot attempts, but I am the one to yell about your effort. Uh, and I don't have to because they know. Uh, <laughs> in order to play and get on the court, you got to play at a certain, certain speed defensively. Um, but we're an we're, we're exciting brand of basketball. We, we press, we trap, we do things that, exci that excites our fan base. Uh, and, and it's an exciting way to play because the big picture is, are we going to get prepared by the teams that are trying to play us? And that's, that's what it's about. They're, they're not going to be able to prepare for us defensively because we do press and trap. They just don't know when. And the other thing is, is the speed. You know, yeah. you, you can't really. If, if you're always running, yeah. it's hard to simulate. That no, it practice. is. It is. It's 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 a way to play. It's it's the way the game is going. Multiple ball screens. Mm -hmm. uh, it it allows guys to show their strengths and weaknesses. It allows guys to show their versatility. And with the height and emphasis put on player development and individual workouts today, players want to see if they can do that in the game. So. I allow that to happen, and I want guys to experiment and play as long as they work on it in the summers. Right, can you work on one time here? Uh, no, 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 nice shot. Can, you do that? <laughs> can I hear hey, how it comes hey, out? I never heard a, a coach complain about a made <laughs> shot. That's right. <laughs>